Hey everybody, happy Thursday to you guys. I know it's been a minute since you guys see me, but it's March 9th, 2023, and we're just waiting to get everybody to come in the room, and we'll get this interview and wait for the person who I'm going to be interviewing to come on soon. Hey, I see you guys. Hey, Lizzie, I see you. I'm doing good. How about yourself? Just getting, waiting for the special guest to come. Okay. Let's see who we can get. All right, special guest, make sure you um, request so I can put you, bring you in. There we go. All right. Hello. Hey, how are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly clear. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right, good. All right, everybody. For Since you guys haven't seen me do an IG Live in a while, this is my special guest. Special guest's name is Yuji. But since I'm introducing you, why don't you introduce yourself to the world who are seeing this on IG and more? My name is Eugene, Papa, Donnie. Got many alias, but, you know, Papa's cool. Um, I'm a singer, a writer, songwriter, a act. You know, try to do a little bit of everything. Okay. Like you said, since you introduce yourself, you're a singer, you do a lot. You have different monikers and names. Yeah. Hello? Hello, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How are you doing overall uh, with uh, the new year so far? Oh, new year's been pretty good, you know, um, just hanging in there, working, you know, trying to um, get a few projects uh, and musical projects in. That's about okay. it. Okay. Well, a lot of you don't know, we've known each other for years, so this is like a while. This is actually a first we actually doing this live for you guys. Yeah, you you've been uh, since day one. You <laughs> it's been a minute since you've been um, trying to get me to interview, yeah. and uh, here we are. We sure are. And I know since you since you say you're a singer, I know people are probably wondering what type of music do you do. Um, traditionally, I love um, R and B and soul music. That's my heart, and uh, I love gospel as well. Um. I try to do everything, though, you know, um, country, hip hop. I try to, you know, add, incorporate a lot of things into it because it kind of gets a little boring after a while if you're just doing R and B or, you know, so it kind of gets a little boring for me. So I try to switch it up, you know, put a little, you know, funk in there and stuff like that. Okay. Now, what made you get? What made you want to get into singing and doing music anyway? Um, um, it's just always been in me, you know. My father, um, he did music. He was a, a songwriter. He played almost every instrument, piano, guitar. Um, and my mother, she was more of like an entertainer. She did like acting and, you know, stuff like that. So the arts has always been, you know, around for me. Okay. Okay, so she said that your, your, you know, your parents were into it, the arts and everything. Now, with you doing your heart, what, um, how would you describe what you do, like, the sound-wise? Because I know you say you do different types of music, but how would you describe your own sound? How would I describe my sound? Um, you want, like, a, a particular artist or something? No, I mean, like, do you, do you have, like, so, like, how would you describe your sound? Like, do you feel like it's, like, a new, like, futuristic? Do you feel like maybe it's just contemporary? Do you feel like it's soul? What? How it's universal. Okay. My sound is universal. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. I'll give you that one. That's good. Now, since so you said you were into the arts, was in, you know, you know, from both parents and everything, who were the people that influenced you music, you know, music wise? Like art artist wise, I should say. Um, well, you know, Michael Jackson, of course, I think that's everybody's, one of their first influences. 
started doing music. <laughs> um, I love Prince. That was my mom was a Michael Jackson fan. My dad was a Prince fan, so they, you know, was always jamming. The Isley Brothers, um, Usher, Maxwell, D'Angelo, um, Aretha Franklin, Whitney, you know, artists like that, Luther. Okay. I like Tupac too. I do too. Both of and Harmony. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people who are on here, those people who are here, but you know, a lot of people like those artists. Now, for, right. Like when you say, since you say your music is universal, how do you keep it um relevant and keep it fresh for yourself? Like mind wise, spiritually, you know, like mind, body, soul wise, how do you keep your music? So you still get good ideas like with writing and like producing wise. Um, just try to be inspired by everyday life, the people around you. Um that's about it. Okay. Was there like a specific, like when you first got into music, was there like a specific album or maybe like an artist that, that intrigued you? what they're doing and let me do this do my own music and just really you know go for it yeah that's me was a particular uh artist album that you know just wowed me or something mm -hmm. Ooh, there's a lot i don't want to be typical and say michael jackson thriller so i'm gonna try to find a different album well it doesn't have to be i love to be one Marvin Gaye, Marvin Gaye, what's going on? I think that was a that was a pretty good album. Uh, yeah, I love that album. Yeah, it don't really have to be one album; it could be multiple albums that she like. Oh well, it's a lot of albums, but uh, Marvin Gaye, what's going on? Uh, I don't even listen to this album. I don't even listen to these people, but it was just that era. I don't know. Uh, NSYNC. <laughs> the, the NSYNC album kind of like, you know. Uh, Maxwell. Maxwell. Uh, Aaliyah. One in a million. Okay. There's a few that I can think of right now. Okay, so this is like the 90s, 2000s is basically what you're saying. Right, right, that's that's the era. Okay. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Now, since you said um, those artists were people that inspired you, uh, what can I, what, how can I put it out there? Because a lot of times when we think of musicians, you know, a lot of times a lot of musicians besides singing, and, you know, going out on the road and touring, have you thought about going out on the road and touring or, or are you still trying to get Get yourself together before you go before you spread yourself around to of course i would love to go out on tour and um tour and you know just getting getting the word out there like you know spreading the gospel about papa so we can go on the road and we could you know sell out you know your shows and stuff now let's make sure we get this correct are you i know you're i know you're are you in, you're independent correct right how do you feel with being independent has um, kind of put the stamp on how you do your artistry? There's pros and cons to, uh, to it. As far as, you know, um, exposure goes, it's, it's a hit and miss, to be honest, the way I can just put it. It's a hit and miss. Okay. But it's fun as far as you know, like being you can be a little you can be more creative, you know, you can you can do everything in yourself, but that's also you know the weakness about it as well. The strength is the weakness, put it that way. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, since we say you know, you say you want to go on, you want, want to go on tour, expose just you know, spread the gospel of your music, how would you? It's like if you had to go into like the, like like you said more entertainment like with the acting, have you ever had experience with acting or anything like that? 
I did a lot of acting when I was younger. I, I was in a couple of school plays in high school. Um, so I did uh, a couple of acting. Um, I There's this uh, one thing that I did with a couple of friends. Uh, when we were in high school, it was a comedy. I'm kind of embarrassed by it. Uh, it's called What's Going On in Derrick House. And it was the most funniest, funniest, funniest time. Um, but I did a little acting in there. Um, I would love to go into acting. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I think, you know, singing is acting, you know. Okay. Now, you got to choose what's out there right now, like shows-wise. You know, because I know we have a lot of stuff that's out there mainstream. And, you know, like digital, you know, like, like Hulu and, like, the Netflix and all. Was there like a particular show that you can see yourself being on currently right now that you would love to be in? Um, no. Not that I can think of right now. I would like to be on Power, actually. I think that will be pretty cool. Which power? <laughs> Which power would you Some want Some mafia be? where I'm, you know, shooting people and kicking ass. I think that would be pretty cool. No, but which power do you like on the one that has um like Mary it doesn't Mary matter does you know? it does any power okay <laughs> so you want the action but you want to yeah action. i want an action or you know something dramatic okay interesting yeah. so I, know I would love to uh I like shows like The Office, too. Okay. I don't even know if that show even comes out still. It still does? That's a pretty funny show. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's wrong with that? You just being honest. Yeah. Ross, as we go into the music and the acting, let's go into some of your music projects that you've done. Because I know you have an EP currently out, right? Yes, we have the Ghost uh, EP out. Uh, it's pretty much a single for uh, it's Ghost. The B side is uh, Where the Money, and um, we have a little bonus track uh, which is Judas. All and of our greats. We're coming out um, later later this year with uh, Genie and Adon. Okay, because I heard the songs like Judas, Where the Money, Ghost. Those are great songs. What was the inspiration? For, the, for you know those songs. Um. Well, well, ghost is about you know. Uh, you know, if somebody ghosts you, or like you know, somebody dies, or you know, it's somebody leaves or something. It's just, just uh, uh you know, you gotta be alone sometimes. You can't, you know, depend on people to make you happy, or depend on memories and stuff like that. You gotta move on. You know, it's meant to be. It'll come back around. Um, Judas is a song about, uh, you know, your friends. I named it Judas because, you know, Judas was the one who portrayed Jesus. <laughs> so I thought that was a little slick uh, on it. Um, also, uh, Where the Money is just about being compensated for all the, you know, the time you feel that you wasted on, you know, being with somebody. Okay. Thank you for everybody that's watching this live. Well, this is Eugene. Where Hello, everybody that's in on the chat. Because I know we have people on here who've come in, come, you know, come and gone, but showed love. So we just want to make sure we know the guys are here. We, we watch you guys. But with, you know, since you say you, um, the, you know, like the Ghost Project with Ghost, Judas, and um, Where the Money, where do you see, um, see yourself, like, do you have, like, a date or, like, or are you finished with your current project right now? The project is uh, finished right now. Yes, it's finished. Um, and, and just uh, waiting on a few things to to clear with that. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting on, on a specific date. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any? Do you have any? Um, you pretty have much any? around the summertime, the, uh, the end of summer, September. Anything? You're gonna you're gonna get a any, get another project. Any features that you have? Any futures? 
Yeah. Uh, I do have two songs that I uh, feature with uh, my, uh, my producer, a wonderful producer out here in um, in Texas, uh, uh, Dietrich Val. You guys got to check him out. Great rapper. Okay. And I, um, you know, do have uh, a feature on uh, songs with uh, a rap group, Smash Brothers. Uh, and that's about it that I could think of. Uh, I, I believe that um, uh, Levi the Great, we're, we're, we're working on something, too. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, I have, a, I have a lot of futures, actually. British, with you know, uh, I have a lot of futures, but some of them futures are just, you know. Yeah, features. I know other futures. You got a lot going on, so I know it's probably like <laughs> you, talk about people, you can't talk about it. So with you being in Texas, how does Texas um, influence your sound? How does Texas influence my sound? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> how does Texas influence my sound? It, it, it's 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 the dirty south. It's the funkiness. It's the soul. <laughs> it's got a lot of people who came from who are from Texas. I've always been in Texas. Okay. I've always been in Texas. Houston, Texas. Missouri City. Nothing wrong with that. Because like, you got Beyonce from there. So long. Oh, hey. no. Yeah, we, we just had a concert uh, at the rodeo. Black Heritage had Bun B there i wanted to go but it was last minute um yeah speaking of houston artists uh, some houston artists that uh, influenced me uh pharaoh zero uh yeah of course destiny's child uh travis scott i actually went to school with travis scott okay. um, sauce walker there's a lot of great people from texas yeah pretty cool people um, the guy that uh tried Jesus, that guy, okay. I don't know his name right now, but the try Jesus man, he's from here, he's a he's really great too. Interesting, yeah, yeah. that's actually good to hear because I know because I know I, I know one of my friends, she's from Texas. I don't know if, if y'all in the I think she's in Dallas. Her name is Mayla. She says Mayla, but I don't know if you've heard of her. And she said, you know, being in Texas, it's influenced her sound. Like, you, like, like how you saying it? Because it's raw, dirty South wise. Toby. Say Toby. Toby. That's his name. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, Ashton. I see you. Shout out to Shay. Shout out to uh, J. Rome the Flame. I'm big misunderstood. That's good. Yeah, that's my boy, Life of Ash Ashton. I know he's in the web series of um, Real Hotways in Houston. So, oh. we gave him his shout. You see him say Life of Ash in comments? He's cool people. Really nice guy. But, you know, since we're here, since I said the whole Texas, um, you know, inspiration. Is there any places that you, you know, in life that you want to travel and want to go to that you're like, I want to go there before, you know, before maybe like. I want to go to Africa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Africa. <laughs> and I want to go to the Caribbeans. I love the Caribbeans. I love Africa. I love the drum patterns. I love the sound. I love the way they move their bodies. That influenced my music as well. And my, my, my presence on stage is, is, you know, the sound of those places, Africa, Brazil, Jamaica, Haiti, all those places, the colors, you know, I love, I love, you know, places like that. They have a lot of rhythm, have a lot of colors and life. Because mm -hmm. I know like with the outfits you wear, like a lot of the outfits I see you wear, like when you did your, fo you know, do photo shoots and everything, they're very Afrocentric, but at the same time, very... To the culture, like African culture, 
Yeah, um, my, uh, my, my style is influenced, you know, by uh, African culture, you know, the fashion, uh, yeah, the Caribbeans. I love uh, vintage, too. I love the vintage, uh, vintage. Uh -huh. Now, with you, com you know, combining your music and then the fashion, has it made you want to develop your music a little bit, you know, develop the music more or like to hype it up more? <laughs> yeah, of course, you yeah. know. You know, a lot of times you get the fashion when you get to different pieces of clothing, like vintage or maybe just like that. Uh, you know, sometimes like that. And uh, attires, sometimes it brings right. boosts of confidence up. Does that make you, do you feel like that, especially when you go on the stage, does it bring that, that extra boost of confidence to you? Of course. Uh, one of my first performances, uh, I remember when I, well, it wasn't my first performance, but uh, I remember when um, I went on stage for the first time, I had a disc prop t-shirt on. It was inspired by Prince. It was Prince inspired. And that was so, told me for the first time on stage because I used I, I, I used to just try to be politically correct, play things safe and you know, but I got on stage and I was I was my true self at that moment, you know, like just wearing what I wanted to wear and being free. Um and I think that 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 um that does does add to the music, the fashion, yeah. It it it, it gives it personality, you know. I'm glad to hear that you say it make you want to be yourself you know, your personality comes out. Because, you know, a lot of times we don't get to hear, especially independent artists and sometimes a lot of mainstream artists. Some are, a lot of them are great and can be themselves. Some cannot be themselves. But it's like you being independent, then you can be, you know, you're being yourself. You're not conform to what everybody's telling you. Oh, you have to do this. You have to do that in order to get fame. You don't really hear that a lot from a lot of artists. I said it can be themselves. But... Do you see yourself sometimes when you are, you know, sometimes you may take fashion, sometimes you could be a hit or a miss. So sometimes you look at it back then, look, look at the, the past stuff and you're like, ooh, what was I thinking? Or like, okay, I'm feeling that. I can still rock that. Do you ever get those uh, mindsets when you're looking at different stuff? Because I know with each year, you know, like different times, a couple of months, we change. Our taste buds change, our style changes. Is it really, uh, do you really be feeling like that a lot? Yeah, of course. You know, like I, I uh, like I said before, I don't, I, I get bored easily, so I got to switch it up. I got to try, you know, different things and, you know, reinvent. Yeah, I think it's very important. Change is very important, you know. Oh, yeah. Trust me, I know this. With being on, you know, because you know me for years, so you know I've been going through different changes. When I would remember, I used to do the music reviews, and I would go and do the TV sh TV show reviews or the movie reviews, and yeah. do reviews. So you've seen my metamorphosis as I've changed throughout the years. Yeah, you've done a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I, you've been through I've yeah. done much because you know, because he and I we've talked for the record, you guys. He and I we've talked on the phone a couple times, and we'd be like, I don't know, should I do this? Should I do that? Do you think people are going to like it? Because we both have given each other some advice on what we should do. So it's like, don't think because you may not know who he is that we're friends. So this is just for us to actually talk about it more on live. So I feel like for me talking about it, and I know a lot of you guys who are coming in live in the comments and everything, I know a lot of this is going to be on you. This is going to be on YouTube also. So I know we just make sure you guys realize that we're being for real. Because I know sometimes some people may be getting bored right now. We give y'all the real raw, you know, interview. But now, can, you, can you hear me very well? Oh, you still sound really good. Okay, good. But I should say, <clears throat> I know that we're doing this for real. This is not. We didn't edit nothing, so this is for real. What you guys are saying? This is real reality. Because for the record, he was a little nervous to come on here, you guys. But now, since you come on here, how do you feel now with the whole interview? You feel more comfortable now? I feel great. Good. I'm alive. <laughs> 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 
That's good to know. So what's next for um, Eugene? Like I said, we're doing a genie and the, uh, the genie and the Don um, project will be out uh, August, September. Um, so that's when we'll start promoting for uh, genie and the Don. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we might, we might release another video uh, for, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking where the money or Judas, not really sure yet. Which one, maybe both, who knows? Tell them where they can see your stuff, like your videos and everything. Let them know. Because, you know, a lot of people probably looking at us like... You can oh. check me out on YouTube at The Morocco Man. It's the same as my my, uh, my uh, Instagram. So that way... The Morocco Man. Yeah, that way people wonder, okay, what are we talking about? I want to make sure everybody know that we're... We're yeah. to plug all this because I'm going to get his information. We'll put everything down when you guys see it on YouTube. So that way you guys know what's going on. And make sure you guys are following him right now if you're not already. And then follow your boy too, so that way if you guys are watching this. But since you said uh, the music, you know, more music and that project is coming out, where does Eugene see himself in the next maybe five, ten years? Oh man, I see myself. I would love to disappear and to uh be on an island somewhere you know i don't have to be rich but i don't want i'm not, not poor i'm not I, i'm not poor i'm not struggling i love I, I would love to just i don't know i would love to have made so much financially where i can just make it sounds impossible but i know it is possible Okay. You know, just just to just be just just relaxing more, and not be so stressed out. You know, not you know, just making money for myself. You know, doing something for myself. That's good. What does your family think about you? You know, pursuing your uh, dreams. They love it. They love it. I inspire them to do what they do, and they inspired me to do what I do. We we support each other. My sister comes to my shows. My brother, he, he gives me advice. Um, my mom, she's amazing. My dad. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to hear because, you know, I'm glad to hear that your family supports you because, you know, you got some people whose families don't support each other. Hey, B. Brian, I see you. But, you know, some people don't support each other. That's another independent artist right there, uh, Eugene. B. Brown. Hello, how are you? He's a singer and actor. Oh, wow. You, I'm going to have to check, check it yeah, out. I did an interview with him, so you can see him after we get this interview done. You can watch, you can see his interview. Um, I, Please do. I love, I love listening to other independent artists that are, you know, yeah. Yeah, because shout out to him, because all the people like Eugene, who you see right here, Eugene King, you got B. Brown in the comments. You have people who, my, like my fellow YouTubers and people who do like interviews and talk shows and everything, like Miss Stevie, uh, Style by Stevie. You got Tony Holly. You got my people's like uh, my other one of my best friends, Kenneth Stallings. He does what he, he does what he does. And you know, you got my boy uh, Jay Evans. So a lot of people who I'm, you see me shouting out, we've all either worked together or about to work together soon. Oh, if I click on a, a thing, it'll exit me out. Yeah, don't do, do that yet. Oh, I was about to click on people's pages and everything. I'm like, oh, let me check you out. Okay, let me not. <laughs> Got a little bit more. A little bit more. That's what she said. You know where you're going to be at next five, ten years. Who, are, um, who's like, who's some of the dream people that you want to work with in the future? Artist wise, who are out there right now, or who you still, you know, who you want to work with? I would love to work with my friend, Non Conformity. She's amazing. Uh, whew. There's so many people in my circle that I would love to work with. We haven't worked with each other, you know, just yet. Um, And as far as mainstream, I would love to do a 
song with Bone Thugs and Harmony. I think that would be pretty cool. I know that's weird, and it, you know, but I, I fucks with Bone Thugs and Harmony. They're pretty cool. I love, I, I love this, this setup. I don't see a problem. With <laughs> yeah. If I know they want to work with them. You say what? I say I don't see a problem with that because you see a lot of people that want to work with them. Oh yeah, of course they're legendary. I love Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone legends. Uh, um, you know, a lot of people that I really want to work with are are past. <laughs> <laughs> they're gone now. You know, I, I would have loved to. I, I would have loved to work with you know uh, Marvin Gaye. I thought that would that would have been pretty cool. Aaliyah. Okay. That's good. There's nothing wrong with that because, you know, you can find some on, you know, some unreleased uh, vocals nowadays. They keep them. Oh, up. no. I don't, I would never do that. I, I, no, I don't know why I just would feel. If no, I was no. in that situation, I would probably be rolling in my grave. Like, that's not what I had it for. <laughs> no, that's not what I made it for. And now you done brought yourself over here. Who said I want that you want it <laughs> you know i just respect the, the dead and leave it you know where it's at sure all right does anybody have any questions for um eugene king before we uh head out or close this out don't be scared you guys if you have any questions feel free to ask them any questions <laughs> One person I'm kind of surprised I, I'm surprised you didn't bring up was um, Erica Badu. You say I'm, what? I'm surprised you never brought up Erica Badu. Oh, I actually was going to bring her up, but uh, I decided uh, it just slipped my mind. <laughs> <laughs> when we were talking about Bun B, when he did the concert, I was going to say her, and I it just, I love Erica Badu. She's an amazing singer, very great writer. And visionary, yeah. I would say that. I think that's what really gets me about Erica is more so the lyrics and of a much of a you know a, the vision that she has. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, because Bobbyism and Mama's Gun were two of my favorite albums from her. Mm -hmm. Hey, you got V Brown saying, "Sing something." Oh, <laughs> oh, sing something. Ooh. You know, you know how that always is. Oh my goodness! So uh, let me see what I what what can I possibly sing at this moment? Uh, what is your favorite song to sing? I don't actually have a favorite song to sing. Um, I'm gonna try to sing something of mine. Uh, if I can think of the, it's like when someone asks me to sing every lyric to a song that I know just slips away and I don't even know the song anymore. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it always, it's, it's a nerd thing. Um, but uh, let me think of something to sing. Um... Something simple. Uh... Whew. I'm terribly sorry. Give me a moment, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Uh, forgive me. I'll do this one. This is what I can think of right now. Uh, it's a song that I that I have that I wrote. Um, oh, you can forget away where you coming from, cause you always find your way back around again. That's all I can think of right hey, now. Hey, that's still good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least for those of you who heard it, you know he can sing. Anybody else have any questions? They any more questions they want to ask um Eugene Ken? Don't give it a few more minutes. We're going to give it like a few more minutes and we'll see if anybody else has any questions. V Brown clapped for you. He just clapped for you. Yay, I clapped back at you. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, I, nobody else had a question. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Close this off. Tell everybody where they can find you at on social media and all. So on YouTube and on Instagram, my Instagram and YouTube is the same. It's uh, the Morocco Man. Um, I am from Houston, Texas. Yeah, I'm from Houston, Texas, Missouri. I grew up in Missouri City. Um, I, I, they say Missouri City and Houston is not the same. I don't know. I, I don't even know if I care, but I grew up in, in, in Missouri City, Texas, which is close to Houston, Texas, right, right down the street. Um, but uh, you can find me on YouTube and on Instagram, uh, The Maraca Man, T-H-E, The Maraca, M-A-R-A-C-A, Maraca and man, M A N, the Maraca man. Okay, that's good. Now, yours truly, right here. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram at K two thirty five, which you guys up here, which is K T O O K E S eighty five, and that way you can follow me. And you can see some of these interviews, like what you're saying with Eugene, which will be up moment or probably when you watch this it's already up so that way you guys can get a feel of who he is even if you just came in the chat, like the live chat or the live interview i should say and you know more about him and you guys can watch previous videos too on my youtube channel so that way and on my ig if you see any of the people it's on my youtube channel also who i've interviewed so that way you guys don't be a stranger subscribe push the bell icon so that way you get notifications every time I drop videos and have VIP access to every time when they're about to drop to get see the premiere, then watch the video. So that way you guys will know. And then make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel also, which I'll have down here in the description box. That way you guys don't feel like be a stranger. While he's doing the different <laughs> filters and all, I was saying. <laughs> I didn't know we could do all of this. Oh, this is my yeah. first time doing something like this. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Now you see what I was so, talking about. Okay. <laughs> Learn something new today. Yep. <laughs> so that's, that's Hello. We have to say so. Tracy, how are you? Thank you so much, Eugene, for doing this because I know you have uh, been a busy man. I know you took the time to do this. I finally got something that we worked on together. And thank you for, uh, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. All yeah. the way out in Florida. Thank yeah. you. Miami, Florida, y'all. Signing off. Use a text to sign off down here. But we out. Thank you, everybody that watched. Bless you.